So here's another game from the Puppy Pack, the current version of the Puppy Pack at least. We're all still working on trying to get the remaining five of a kinds done. I can't see it happening, but it's fun trying, even if it is maddening at times as well. So here on turn five, I'm set up with Buffalo and Swan, which are basically two of the main ingredients that you need. Well, I guess you don't need them. You could win uh, in a different way, but for the method that I'm going for, Swan and Buffalo are basically required. Certainly Buffalo is. So I get them both on turn five, but I've lost again. I think it was a one HP loss there. So turn six, zero trophies, two hearts, it's looking like this run is dead. And we'll we'll take the snail here just for a little bit of extra stats. Now, I guess everyone, if you've played the game long enough, you will have had plenty of unusual comebacks or unlikely wins where it looked like it was uh, futile to carry on playing. And actually here, I think we're going to lose again. Yep, yeah, even despite buying the snail, we still lose. It's probably better to not actually buy the snail and just keep the hatching chick separate. But anyway, at this point, normally I would just give up. So I would sell a whole bunch of pets and just let the game end and start over. But I think this might have been the last game in a session. So I just carried on. So you can see here, seven, turn seven, zero trophies, one heart. We get matched with another pretty weak looking team. So we're, we're facing the worst of the worst. They're all, they were also on zero wins. I assume they lost. Um, although maybe they got matched with someone who is even had an even worse team than mine. So that's her first win on the board. But because the entire purpose of this run is to try and get a five of a kind, I'm going to go for chicken. Now, chicken is incredibly weak in puppy pack as it stands. It does look like it's pretty strong in the test server, but for now, it's it's not very good. And turn nine, I get it on the level up. And I was kind of cursing the run at this point because it feels like such a waste to actually get the chicken when it's basically the run is dead and buried. So we're on turn nine, a level one chicken scales the shop so slowly that it's barely even worth going for. However, here I felt like I've got nothing to lose. The run is probably going to die on the next turn. Just carry on going until it's over. So again, we get matched with a horrendous opponent, which is perfect because our team has gradually improved a bit. The buffalo is a little bit bigger, but turn 10 at 1919 19 buffalo is, is still awful. So here I have the entire shop of tier ones frozen and we get the instant level two chicken. So I guess the incredible bad luck at the beginning there was kind of counteracted by crazy shop luck on turn nine. And I take the leopard here just to try and stay alive. But what I don't realize is that the next team I'm going to face is also going to be absolutely awful. And I don't think I even needed the leopard because the buffalo and the skunk are going to take out their biggest units and then the swan's going to clean up. So um, I think uh, the leopard wasn't even necessary there, which it seems kind of ridiculous to say. But with the extra gold from the swan, we get another trip, three buy cells in, in one turn. So now the shop is looking a little bit better. Another buy sell. And I think I'm just going to full greed. Since I'm getting all the luck I want, I'm going to full greed and go for the pig. So turn 11, bringing a pig in is uh, is pretty grim. <laughs> However, we get matched with a Llama 4 squad. And the, the pig's scaled stats are going to be good enough to actually win there. And here is chicken number two. So... Although it's incredibly risky, like I said already, there's really nothing to lose. So let's just sell the skunk. We can buy another level one skunk if we really want to. And we get another pig, and I decide to sell the swan as well. It's only giving two extra gold. And with the double chicken, it's not quite as necessary to get so many buy cells into one turn. I also took the leopard partly because I was thinking about... Uh, leopard is one of the five that hasn't been done. I mentioned that in the other vi in one of the other videos. It seems kind of crazy that leopard and octopus haven't been done, and they're two <laughs> two of the strongest pets. I guess in the context of this pack, leopard isn't isn't all that great. But I'm just going to carry on greeting on the tier ones. Another very weak team, and the leopard snipes one of the stake units, which is even better. I actually do wonder if. 
when your when your start is so bad and you're down to zero wins so quickly, I wonder if it actually matches you with people outside your own matchmaking bracket. It would be really interesting to know that. Although I'm sure at this point the devs are not going. <laughs> they've said that they're not going to tell us, so it's probably unlikely we'll we'll find out. But at this point, our power level is massively spiking, where we're able to buy a unit that is getting very close to 50-50. And it's only going to take a, a few more buy cells to actually get almost the 50-50 shop from an un, almost unwinnable position. And here we get matched with another really, really bad team. Um, it's the, the, even like normally I would be getting matched with teams. Even if I'd had a really, really bad start, I would still be getting matched with some absolutely crazy opponents because I guess other people must be having the same kind of luck here where it's a massive turnaround from being basically an unwinnable situation to suddenly actually being odds on to win. So the fact that I'm still getting matched with terrible opponents makes it all the more painful that I'm not finding the duplicates that I need. I haven't seen another leopard, I don't think, or if I have, I've missed it. So here I take the mammoth just in case I'm able to get more mammoths. So we're hedging with rooster, leopard and mammoth. I guess I could also go for five mosquitoes if I was if I was very lucky. And uh, um, I suppose five mosquitoes is perfectly fine. You know, you're removing you're removing melon from most of the opposing team. Now, here I get the another chicken. But I think at this point, I'm on eight wins and I'm now thinking it's time to give up on the shop scaling. We need to rapidly try and find some duplicates to actually go for a five. So actually the chicken gets sold here and I sell the rooster and the um, the leopard as well and decide that turtle is one of the possibilities. Both of these are, are pack one pets. So all of them are getting removed from the new uh, puppy pack except for shrimp, I think it is. And because I don't get any doubles here, I just take the pig so I can sell it for more gold next turn. But but at this point now, in order to get a five, I would need multiple draws. And unfortunately, because the shop scaling has just gone absolutely wild, it's almost, it's not going to happen. There's just no way. Um, you know, uh, although this pack is kind of governed by the buffaloes, llamas, bisons, and caterpillars. Those teams are not going to have a full board of 50-50s or, or close to 50-50. So here I actually find a double. I roll the two hedgehogs. So I go add them both in. And we roll a gorilla as well. So I now have two doubles. And I'm just hoping that I find more. But we've now, with double almost 50-50 gorilla and almost a full board of 50-50s, it's just not realistic. And we get matched with Tiger Leopard, but their stats are just miserable compared to the chicken scaled team. And the one heart turn seven, zero wins, chicken comeback is complete. Uh, rare as hen's teeth, I think. So here are some uh, bonus clips. Here is me uh, getting to nine wins, four octos, and I've just had to sell the chicken. And I'm really hoping for a draw here because then I've got a decent chance of getting the five. And actually the team we get matched with uh, is looking relatively promising because they've only got one big unit and the eagle is going to make the octo trigger multiple times. <laughs> they get double dragon, but the octo snipes are actually working in our favor and it comes down to 1v1, 1-1 one, one octo and their one shoots first. Now, call me crazy, but I think that should be a draw. I was absolutely seething after that. And here's some bonus clips from um, the Discord. So here is Bugwagon getting um, five roosters in pack two. So at least that one's been done. And uh, even more impressive is five hatching chicks and actually gets matched with the uh, four squad with Llama. Um, I think it would probably be better to play the uh, full five squad there rather than um, continue to get buffs on the on the llama, but uh, it worked out well for the five of a kind anyway.